Welcome back everyone to another Final Fight NRG and this is probably the definitive home port version of the Capcom Fighting Classic. This is the Sharp 68000 version exclusive to Japan, hence the Japanese text. And yes, pretty much bang on. You uh, used to hear back in the day the phrase arcade perfect a lot and a lot of people used to say the Mega Drive um, not sorry the, not the Mega Drive the Mega CD Sega CD version was pretty good and pretty arcade perfect well not really when you compare it to this you give or take uh, that's about ooh, I'd say 80% accurate maybe 75% accurate this is more like 90 95% accurate um, you really need to do dig deep to uh, see the differences between this and the original uh, Capcom CPS 1 board version. And mainly I believe that uh, Capcom used to use the uh, Sharp um, used to use the Sharp machine for development purposes. I'm pretty sure that might have been the case and I think they shared a lot of chips as well, the custom graphics chips and stuff. So it's no surprise that when you see ports of arcade games on the Sharp uh, they are generally very very fine indeed when you look at the likes of R-Type and Strider and Ghosts and Goblins. Excellent, excellent pretty much arcade spot on uh, ports and Final Fight got the full intro there just like uh, the original arcade the title screen is exactly like the arcade as is the character select screen and as the music as well but there are a couple of minor differences in this and I will point them out as we go along as we look at this sharp version but uh, yeah the seminal fighting classic is there the old, uh, there he is, old Damon laughing his head off let's play as Cody today and uh, with his lovely quiff, always loved Cody's quiff. I always preferred this version of Cody before they stuck him in, uh, for some reason, stuck him in prison garb. But there is some story behind that, isn't there? Anyway, all the moves are present, all the sound is present, the combos are there, the scrolling is there, of course. And the enemies are all there as well, but not in the same numbers. Now, this, much, this is basically what makes the sharp version uh, a little bit easier than the arcade. Uh, the screen doesn't get full up so much with so many sprites, mainly because the sharp version is not uh, pushing that many sprites on the screen uh, uh, in the same rate as the arcade. Excuse me, and he fell on my words there, a bit of a way Cody's going to fall over some bins in a minute. Grab that burger, Cody. There you go. Yeah, I believe the arcade version could push maybe eight, up to eight sprites on screen at any one time, and I think the sharp version can only manage a maximum of five to six from memory. I could be wrong, so don't quote me. But if anyone's familiar with the arcade, you'll probably be looking at this and thinking, no, that's the arcade. That is the arcade version. Now, trust me, this is playing on a Sharp 68000 emulator. Trust me, it is. There are a few minor colour changes here and there. I mean, we're not talking about the actual colour itself, more like shading issues, which are barely noticeable. They're not even worth mentioning, to be fair. And the other thing, of course, is the sound, which is slightly not as uh, sharp and not not as I say sharp, not as tight, not as um, clipped as well, and certainly not as clear in certain places as the arcade version. Uh, it's, it's actually, I think, to do with the, the sound chip in the sharp. I think there was actually two versions of the sound. You could get a, a MIDI soundtrack version uh, on the release of the game, I believe, on CD. So the, the sound isn't exactly identical, and it's, it's more. It's more noticeable when it comes to certain sound effects than the actual the background music and the tunes or anything like that. Apart from that, it's pretty much fantastically identical to the arcade. It really is. It's extremely enjoyable to play on the Sharp. Most like the original arcade. And I actually, you know what? I actually prefer the Sharp version probably to the arcade for the main reason that actually it's less tough, it's less frustrating in a lot of ways. There's less enemies on screen to worry about. There's no censorship. Good, good, good news, everyone who uh, like their, um, should we say, um, little bit of uh, skin on sh display when it comes to uh, Poison and Roxy. I don't believe there's any censorship on this version of the game, unlike the Sega and Nintendo versions, as we all know. Of course, the Nintendo version actually changed the character completely. Um, with the, uh, I think the Sega CD version uh, added more clothes to the to the girls, should we say? Go over there. There you go, sunshine. Fast as the arcade, really quick and uh, yep. Yeah, it's sorry, I got distracted by <laughs> I got distracted by Bill Ball there, just running me over. 
Let's throw him away. Go away. Uh, oh, I got nutted by him. Nutted by the fat man. Oh, there's the fire dudes. We're going to get torched as we usually do at this section. No, I avoided it. There we go. Down you go, Damned. Damned. Demoned. I can never pronounce that bloody name. What is he, what is he called, everyone? Demoned? I'm guessing. Anyway, the slum is clear. Let's have a look at the uh, subway. Obviously, there's a little bit of a pause there for the disloading. And off we go. There we go. There's Poison and Roxy. Uh, looking fantastic in their purple and orange bright hair as well. Oh, got me, oh, got me Katana to slash everyone up. Oh, you're a lovely chap, aren't you, Cody? And very nice tight jeans as well. I want to know, can you do these, these kind of martial arts wearing jeans like this? These, these really, you know, early, early 90s, late 80s tight jeans? I don't think you'll be able to do that kind of uh, stretching in martial arts. Certainly without your jeans splitting in the crotch area. If not, you're going to be pulling muscles in certain regions of your body as well. <laughs> yeah, and 2P has a cape. Of course, a cape's really good. Here he is, old Andre. Andre the Giant. Andre Jr. Andor Jr. Is that one? Andre? Oh, I think I'm getting confused again. All the, all the characters are there anyway. But just not in the same numbers. It's a great version. This could play this all day, actually. Because no, so is that um, the time thing at the bottom, at the top? Is that slightly different to the arcade as well? Probably not. I'm probably just thinking my memory's probably all wrong there. Beating them up. See, this this section is quite noticeable uh, for, for the enemy count. You normally get a lot of enemies here in the subway train. Uh, and you only get overwhelmed pretty quickly. You can pretty much uh, do them pretty handily. I mean, it's still quite tough, this section. I mean, I'm, I'm always one to. Oh, I got battered there. Use my double roundhouse jobby. Oh, I hate Hollywood doing his sweep. Go away. I'm going to stab you. There you go. I'll stab all of you. Stabby, stabby, stabby. And I'll throw the knife as well. Oh, bloody hell. Run over. Yeah, so if you want to play a home version of it, uh, this is the version to have. Of course, like I said, this is a you know, it was released in Japan exclusively, so it wasn't available to us Westerners. Uh, you know, the best we got was the Sega Mega Drive, ver Sega CD version, the Mega CD version, and of course the very flawed and stunted SNES version. Uh, which, you know, well, didn't have the two-player. Um, this does have the two-player, of course it does. Uh, the SNES version didn't have the two player of course and it was missing Guy unless you bought Final Fight Guy which is missing Cody and has Guy instead but it's far superior to the bloody other home port should I say outside of those, in fact it's superior to every other home port it's uh, like I say the ultimate arcade port like, like the Shark did this a lot anyway to be fair he did it a lot so I'm going to wrap up now I think uh, I'm going to finish the subway well, we'll finish the subway train first we'll get to the end of the subway train let's kill Doug Oh, he bloody got me a dig there in dig dig dug. Oh, that was an that was a bit of an accident accidental segue there. Uh, I got digged by Doug. Mm. Go away. No, Roxy's smacking me in the back. Oh no, I got tripped up by Hollywood, and I think that's it. So let's leave Cody to blow up. Thank you for watching this NRG of Final Fight on the Sharp 68000. Never bug out. Boom.